Hi YouTube, Studio Dog here, welcome back to some more D&D Duel commentary, and yep, it is October 2nd, so that means the new format, oh wow, there's Regeki already, so if you haven't told, this is the new format, this is rated, and you know, ratings still get reset to 100 for some reason, you know, I would think they, they should at least, you know, reduce them down to like a thousand, like if you're above a thousand, but I mean seriously, if you're really high, then you have to work your, work your way all the way back up, and it's just kind of annoying, so we're going to be seeing Bujins here. We got Supernatural 107 and Crimson Blue, who 441 is like one of the highest, you know, rated guys here so far. I mean, this is obviously going to change later. But anyway, first turn Tenki, first turn Yamato. I mean, pretty good. A lot of people are saying, like, Bujins are not a budget deck. I don't know if I call it a budget deck. I mean, you still need, you know, one to two Hiromes. That's like 20. I mean... Eight dollars for Yamato. Most of, I haven't really seen that many for eight. Like I think they're going for ten, so that's still thirty dollars for a place at a Yamato's. And you know all the freaking Vendi's emptiness that you're probably gonna have to play. But I mean, still other than that, I mean Bujins, you know, are fairly you know budget right now. I mean, minus a couple extra deck staples. I mean Sasano, Wo, and Kagasuchi going for like not that much. Same thing with whatever the other guys called. Uh, I forgot its name. The other Bujin exceed. Oh, Tsukiyomi, yeah. So, Kagasuchi, Tsukiyomi, and then Sasanoo, and those are all like a dollar, if if even that. So, a pretty strong opening from Crimson Blue, one of those probably Vanity's Emptiness. You got first turn Yamato with hair, and you got a Hirome in hand. This is obviously at 1900 attack, so let's see what Super, Super Matt 107 is playing here. could be anything. I mean, he's only at 100, but I mean, still, if this is his first match, then I mean, well, it's obviously his first match of the format, so I mean, it's probably going to be something, you know, decent. I mean, 34 card deck, 15 in the extra deck. It's going to start with two sets, and let's see what else. Anything. Oh, Mathematician, what is this, Shadows? But yeah, this card keeps on going up and up. It's like $15 card now, like seriously. I think that's probably one of the most expensive cards in Dragon of Legends now, which is funny because I remember this was going for like three dollars a piece, you know, after a week after whatever it's called Dragon of Legends, you know, first came out. So what is he gonna send? I mean, I don't know if it should always. I mean, I don't know if personally if you were playing Felice, I would just summon the Mathematician, ditch Felice. But then again, I probably would just bait on an emptiness. But I mean, so he's gonna go for Falco. Let's see if we're gonna see an emptiness here. So you go Squamata into Falco. Falco is going to resummon itself in face down defense mode. And Crimson of Blue saying that's okay. So, I mean, still, if you would have had Felice in your deck, you could have made the first turn Black Rose to, you know, at least bait out the hair and then get rid of these. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he wanted to, you know, go on the safe side because if there would have been something to stop that Black Rose. It would have just been downhill. But, I mean, so anyway, we see N. Uh, main phase one MST. I kind of disagree with that. I don't know why you didn't do that in the end phase. Unless there's some secrets. If that was Sinister Shadow games, like I, I don't even know what you're doing. But okay, so maybe he. Drew I think what he. Okay, there's emptiness. God, why? <laughs> Every day in dual commentary, this card goes up in price. I swear to God. So I think the reasoning for Crimson Blue MSTing in during his turn was because he drew into another one and he didn't want to end phase MST a random one but since he drew into another one like he knew that whatever would happen his plays would still you know go off so I mean I guess I see the logic but I mean still end phase MST is a lot better against Shadows. I mean obviously Sinister Shadow game is a scary card so personally I probably would have end phased MST so anyway he summons Mikazuchi Pretty cheap card. Yeah, this got this also got reprinted in the Mega Tins. The only card that really didn't get reprinted in the Mega Tins is Hirome, which is still around ten dollars. So he's gonna attack the Mathematician. That's gonna draw him a card, and then Sasano can also attack that. And then the Falco is gonna get the Squamata back, and I think Squamata is the one that destroys. Yeah, because. I think of it like an, an, in an opposite way, because I know that Dragon destroys back rows, but it bounces cards when it's flipped, and then Squamata it sends cards, but it destroys when it's flipped. That's kind of how I remember, remember it, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, Falco obviously going to get back. Let's see if I called it right. Yep, I did. Squamata destroys, Dragon bounces monsters, and then, well, it can bounce spell and traps if it's flipped, but it destroys 
back row. So he's going to evac that. So, I mean, if Super Nat would have went for that first turn of Felice play, I mean, it would have forced Crimson to probably evac the Felice. So that still would have been a pretty, you know, decent, I guess, I don't know, I, I guess a decent, you know, plus for Super Nat. I mean, I know whatever it's called, Felice doesn't do, like, anything in your hand. It's just like Wolf. But, yeah, he does lose an extra 100 because of Tanky. A lot of people forget about that. Still, you know, after all this time, people still forget about that 100 boost. Like, I remember when Tanky first came out, everyone forgot about it. Like, literally, everyone forgot about it. But still, people forget. So that's kind of unfortunate. Same thing went for Gates of the Dark World, because I know when, when Dark Worlds first came out, everyone forgot about that 300 boost. Like, it, it was not even funny. But, I mean, there you go. So he's going to, his turn, he doesn't have the auto draw on. I don't know why he doesn't have the auto draw on, but, I mean, whatever. You don't have to fear any back row, but the problem is you still have to deal with the hair. So, I mean, a Raigeki right now wouldn't be that bad. I mean, you would kill, I mean, doesn't he have Crane in hand? I'm pretty sure he has Crane in hand. So, I mean, you have six cards to work with. A Shadal Fusion would be really, really good right about now. Like, oh my god, that would just be amazing. And apparently Super Matt doesn't have it unless he wants to set first. I mean, I know first turn he's set two first and then some of the mathematicians. So, maybe he's setting and then he wants to go for that Shadal Fusion, which I still don't get the legitimate logic of that. But, I mean, whatever. I guess that's how some people play the game. So, we set one and we're just sitting here. Beautiful. Any second now. Any second now. <laughs> He's going to set a monster. Okay. And now what? <laughs> oh, no. He's not going to set a monster. Too late. Too late. Going to call an admin. Can't take that back. Now it's whatever it's called. Un unaccepted game state. or it's Yeah, unaccepted game state because... Or no, it's irreversible game state because he doesn't know which card he set is in his hand because, you know, whenever cards add to the hand, it gets shuffled, so. Thankfully, Crimson Blue isn't going to shark him on that. And Super Matt, he's going to banish one for Black White Dragon, actually, yeah. Oh, no, Black Dragon. So, Black Dragon, you have to banish a Light Sunny. <laughs> you have to banish a Light. Like, am I reading this right or not? By banishing one Light Monster from your graveyard... That's not a light. The last time, the last time I checked, I don't know. Pretty sure I'm not colorblind, but that says dark right there, not light. What? Okay, that's what you guys get. Am I reading this right? Cannot be normal summon set. Must for, must be special summon by from your hand by banishing one light monster from your graveyard. That's not a white, but, I mean, whatever. So, Crimson Blue is going to let Super Matt cheat. And he is playing Felice. I mean, again, I'd, I personally wouldn't want for that first turn Black Rose play, because that would have forced him to evac one of the monsters. So, if you want to evac the Mathematician, beautiful, I can use it again. If you want to evac the Felice, then I still get a draw off the Mathematician. So, I mean, that's kind of how I look at it. So, anyway, we get to see some cheating action. It's always fun. Of course, you know, no he, no one's catching it. It's just like those friggin' judges at YCS Madrid, you know, see all this cheating with Shadows. So like, no one catches it. Like, come on. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously. I Me mean, again with the freaking the Jarrell Winston at Nationals in 2012, how he beat Tyler Tadman game one, and no one catches that stuff. Like, come on. So he's going to go for Ragnar Zero. It's been a pretty cool minute since I've seen this card in action, so that's going to bait out the hair. Because obviously, and then during Crimson's draw phase, he'll be able to use it again, and then successfully get the effect off. So you have to detach first, unfortunately. And all this shouldn't be happening right now because you can't summon Black Dragon. So other people are catching it too. No, he did not remove a light. He removed the dark. So again, all this that is happening right now is not legal. So finally, it took him 
couple minutes to actually realize that Super Matt did a fast cheat on him. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen now. If they're going to reverse the game state or if he's just going to rage quit or we're going to see an admin call. Like Either one of those three, three things are going to happen. We're going to see a rage quit, an admin call, or a very, very long sequence of reversing the game state. One of those three things will happen. And Super Matt's just sitting here. He's like, oh no, he finally realized I cheated. So... Okay, we are going to see a reverse of the game state then. So, I mean, you can still summon Felice. Or, still summon the Mathematician. That can still ditch the Felice. So, I mean... It's it's all good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So, he says it's okay. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> okay. So, now the Watchers are apparently going up when we were at... A good old solid 15. And now we're at a good old... 44. I don't know how he got that back. Okay. <laughs> it would have been nice to see this card limited at one on the ban list. Like, the only three things I was missed, that was, like, legitimately missing from the ban list was one, an artifact hit, two, the emptiness hit, and three, personally, I feel the mathematician hit. Should have happened. But, I mean, whatever, it's Konami. They never like to actually address the, address a lot of issues in the game. You know, these days. I mean, they used to. Like, I look at past ban lists, they actually, like, addressed, you know, some of the issues. But, I mean, it seems like the ban lists lately just really haven't been doing super, super much. I mean, the last ban list, it was pretty, pretty good. I mean, compared to, like, some of the other ones we've had. But, I mean, still. So, he's going to use Felice's effect to kill Sasanova by tributing, tributing itself. And then he gets to mill three. That's a pretty good effect. Harry's going to activate to save itself. And then, does he still mill or not? I don't know. That is a ruling I do not know. I think you have to destroy the mill. Let me read the card text. Well, the the milling is mandatory, so... I actually think you do still mill. I don't know. Because it's kind of like Ragna Zero. If you don't... Because, like, with Ragna Zero and Chateau, like, it doesn't destroy the card. Well, actually, it does destroy it. It goes back to the hands. Oh, actually, I don't think he mills. Never mind about that. I don't know. So, again, they're stalling a lot of time, so we're going to see another long DN dual commentary. I know you guys love the long videos. I know you guys just love these long videos. <sighs> so, anyway, yeah, on an unrelated note, we got one of our, our biggest fans who's apparently going to be quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! next um next year pops 25 from the live stream if you guys haven't heard of him he's been in quite a bit he's been in all my live streams i've mentioned him in the past but apparently he's going to be quitting Yu-Gi-Oh in starting next year because he's going to be going to college and stuff so that's kind of unfortunate you know he said that he might return but i mean it's still you know pretty sad how you know he invested all this time in the game they're just going to quit you know Hopefully, when the game will hopefully will be a lot better by then. But I mean, I don't know. Cool put's gonna be out. I mean, I guess that's sad. On an unrelated note, he wanted me to mention it to the world, so I'm like, okay, I'll mention it. So I know if you guys were in the live stream, you obviously know who Pops Twenty Five was, and you know, my second live stream did get you know quite a bit of views. You know, a lot more than my first one. So I mean, there. So anyway, the the gameplay has finally returned. He's gonna fiendish chain. The Bujin Sasanowo. So he won't be able to get more advantage off that. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. Crimson Blue just sitting here. I mean, you only have two two unknown cards to work with. So, I mean, I, I still don't know what takes so long. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, probably you're just going to attack with the Hirome. I mean, you have to get math, past Mathematician somehow. So, I mean, that's just annoying. Like... If they wouldn't have put that, you when this card is sent, or let me co let me copy and paste it. When this card is sent, destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card, and there goes the phone. Beautiful. Anyway, if they wouldn't put that effect on there. Like that would just been a lot better. 
So a big shout out to the phone right there. But anyway, he's going to summon Crane and then go for another Exceed play. So if that's a Black Corner Heaven, well, it's not a Black Corner Heaven. No one's playing Black Corner Heaven. When's the last time you legitimately seen a Black Corner Heaven in the main deck? The used these days. Like, never. So he's going to go Diamond Dire. What is this, a Troll Charge? Oh, he's going to kill the Fiendish? Wow, pretty risky, because if that back row is anything, then you're just being a pretty poopy position, but I mean, whatever. So, Super Matt's thinking like usual, I mean, why not? And he's going to Book of Moon the Diamond Dire Wolf, and like I said, if, if that back row is anything to stop that Diamond Dire, I mean, Crimson, I mean, isn't really in the best of positions here. So now we have to stall more time because he has to resummon the gar the cards, exceed them, and then place that face down. So I mean, I guess that's better. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have anything in the graveyard, too. So I mean, if that's troll charge, which is probably not, wouldn't be the most optimal time to use it. So let's see, and he just ends. And Super Matt still doesn't have that auto draw on. Book really isn't that good right now, <laughs> my opinion. I don't know, I've never been the biggest fan of this card ever, <laughs> like really. I played it once in Prophecy. I've actually I've actually topped with Evil Slayer. I played Book of Moon randomly, and then I played it in Prophecy back. I don't play it in Prophecy anymore, it's not worth it. But, I mean, personally I've never been the biggest fan of this card. I mean, it's good, it's just, I, I, just, I feel that like there's just better options. So Super Matt's turn, come on, and he, he has taken forever, like seriously, we're going to have another half hour video, this is still game one, this is still freaking game one, like seriously, so he's going to banish, oh now he has a light, so now he can go for Black Dragon, Cola Serpent, whatever, however you pronounce that last part, he's going to summon Dragon, oh no, I smell an excite all night, I don't know about you, so, one, two, three, four, five, oh no, he can't excite all night, what am I saying? So we, he could 101. Oh, that would do a lot. Yeah. I personally 101 that. And then that will be able to get over the Diamond Dire. This will be able to attack for 1500. So that 101 play goes off. That will be. Oh. Well, I guess that's good too. <laughs> yeah. So there's Ragna Zero. People still main deck in that Ragna Zero. Or, yeah, main deck in, in the extra deck, that Ragna Zero. I know a lot of people aren't really playing it, but I, I still. Personally, I, I really like this card a lot. So he's going to break through skill Ragna Zero. So that will actually come in handy later. Because now when he uses that effect again. He'll be able to just break through skill. And now I don't know what it, what in heaven's name is ta taking so long to attack over the Diamond Dire Wolf. I just, I don't know sometimes. Like are these guys purposely stalling? It's like they're fans of me and they want to have more screen time or what? But now we're up to 67 watchers, which is pretty crazy. And now he finally d decides to kill the Diamond Dire Wolf. That took forever. Now I do have to note that Fiendish Chain is still on Sasano Well, but he won't be able to attack over it. Well, actually, if Super Matt's smart, he'll just not use Ragna Zero on Crimson's turn and then use it again during his turn. So, I mean, if... I mean, if Crimson doesn't top deck something good, then it'll be pretty bad for him. So again, he's viewing his grave. I like, oh my god, these guys are just taking forever. Like seriously, I didn't want another 34 minute DN dual commentary, but apparently I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, I think my record for DN dual commentary is like 34 minutes. I know I've had an hour commentary for the Nationals finals. That was... Just that was way too long, and then obviously the live streams don't count because they're not videos. Well, they they're technically videos, but they're not like legitimate videos. So Crimson Blues turn. Let's see, did he top deck a Troll Charge? I mean, if you top deck a Bougie Incarnation, you can't use it. So just end your turn. And I I, I wish I could you know see what card they drew because I I could tell you exactly what to do if you want to know. But apparently we can't do that, so we are 
reaching 20 minute mark really really shortly and bam another 20 minute video I know you can think you can thank me later you can thank me in the comments because I know you guys love these long videos oh my god what is there to think about it's one card oh my god like like seriously <sighs> okay so Crimson's thinking, <laughs> and as you can see, the watchers have you know decreased. They're at 66 now. They're at 59, and I mean this 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 one's obviously going on YouTube because I mean I'm not gonna quit this right now and then try to get another one in. No, um, we're we're already 20 minutes in. And we can, we can't do that. And he missed the feed. Beautiful. Think waits 20 seconds and missed the feed. But anyway, that's game one. Should alls win it? And we're gonna pause the video for game number two to start. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, welcome to game number two. Crimson Blue is going to be starting out. And, you know, apparently, well, get, yeah, game one he opened really good. I mean, he got the first turn Yamato, the first turn Tinky, but I mean, this time he doesn't have it. And that's one of the downsides of going second, because whenever you draw bad and you're going second, I mean, it's just painful, because, you know, not only are you neg one, but then you have, like, a completely useless hand. And, I mean, if your opponent opens, you know, you know, something of decency, it's just downhill and like you don't even get a chance to play but I mean whatever so he's gonna start with a set monster to set spell and traps so he didn't see any sinister shadow games in game one so I mean maybe maybe it's about time we start seeing some sinister action because you know everyone loves that card and apparently he doesn't have it because a lot of times they do it in the end phase so super Matt's turn I keep thinking his, his username Super Nat, like Supernatural, but it's Super Matt. So he finally drew into something to normal summon. Mathematician, my god, that beard, that freaking beard, man, like seriously. And that must have took him centuries to grow that, like seriously. You got the beard and you got the mustache, like really? God. So anyway, that gets breakthrough skilled. And he's probably going to attack for 15. He might flip summon that, depending. If it's a hedgehog, I would flip summon it. Because, you know, we didn't see any Shadol fusion action. I mean, it doesn't mean that Shadols can't win without Shadol fu fusion. I mean, I know it's like their best card, but I mean, still. They don't have to have Shadol fusion to win. So, oh wow, it is a hedgehog. I called it. <laughs> and that gets Shadow Imprisoning Mirrored. So... I mean, I don't know, maybe I would, I probably, you know, would have waited for, you know, Mathematician to ditch something to the graveyard to flip this, but I mean, maybe he was really afraid of him going for another Felice or something. So anyway, again, Super Matt, like, I don't know if he's lagging or if he's just thinking super hard or what. So, is he just going to attack with the two monsters? I mean, that's probably what I would do. Yardy Normal summoned. I mean, shit, all fusioning definitely isn't worth it. I mean, like, you're, you're literally going to get nothing off of shit, all fusion other than just a bigger monster, but you're just going to go neg because none of your guys are going to activate, and then plus, you know, Windows continuous effect can just get stopped by the breakthrough skill, but not like that's going to really do anything in the position that Crimson's in right now. So that's exactly what happens. You just attacks for... All that damage is gonna summon turtle. Lovely turtle. Look at that face. Look at that face. How could you deny such a such a cute turtle? And that'll probably attack hedgehog. Yeah. Let's see. And he lets it die. Okay. So I mean that shadow mirror that could put in some work. If Super Matt doesn't draw anything, you know, of decency. But, I mean, Squamata and Dragon are still, you know, pretty big beaters. You know, you got 1,900 beaters. That's all you need to do is summon that, attack over the turtle. Okay, so let's see if that's what he's going to do. Nope. Not. At least switch the Mathematician to Defense Mode. At least have the common courtesy to do that. Oh, no, he's going to banish for something and that's uh inherent summon so you can't chain <laughs> pretty sure that's an inherent summon isn't it 
I need to read the card text, but... Isn't that an inherent summon? I, I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, it's it. Oh my god. Seriously. Yeah, it is an inherent summon. I'm not. I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh my god, the cheating is so real. Like you can't just flip an emptiness like right when he starts the banishing. That is so cheating. It's such a. It's a summoning condition to banish. As an inherent special summon. Like oh my god, these guys really need to learn the game. But whatever. So, Super Matt, not gonna shark him. That was uh, definitely an illegal play from Crimson Blue. You can't just randomly, you know, flip over emptiness when he's about to banish. You know, same thing for a Maxi. If you're if you're banishing for like a Chaos Source, you can't just ditch Maxi, you know, while he's banishing. That's not how that works. So, Super Matt, letting the letting the cheating happen here. So, Crimson Blue top stacks a tanky. And that's really nice. I mean, obviously, if Superman had an MSD, he probably would have used it on the Shadow Mirror or the Empty. Well, probably the Shadow Mirror, because that would just kill the Emptiness, too. So, <laughs> there you go. And Crimson Blue trying to do a comeback here. He summons Yamato. That just gets bottomless. So, not the best. But, I mean, Turtle can still attack over that set monster, and it won't activate. So, that's good. And you don't even lose your Emptiness, because... Yamato wasn't destroyed. What well, was destroyed, but it was banished too. Because I mean, bottomless destroys, but it also also banishes. Because that's just how that works. So he's gonna Phoenix Chain a Turtle. Not every day you see that happening. Because Phoenix Chain Turtle really isn't the best play to do. But I mean, an MST would probably be like the only card you know Super Matt could top deck right now to win him the game. But, I mean, as long as you don't have MST, you're not really going to have that much. I mean, you really need a, a freaking whatever it's called. A, you need a top deck of Squamata or a Dragon. Even if you top deck that, I mean, Crimson probably has a, a Crane in his hand to stop, to stop that attack. So, I mean, either way, I mean, I think Crimson's actually in a pretty, you know, decent position right about now. And I mean, let's see how long this video is at. Oh my god, we're already at 30 minutes. Oh my god. If this is going to be a 40 minute match, I do apologize. But I mean, this will get uploaded. Like, this will get uploaded. So he's going to Foolish, probably for full... Well, actually, why would you Foolish? Like, there's really nothing to Foolish. <laughs> Felice won't do anything. All the... Okay, he's going to take it back. That's beautiful. So... Man, all the cheating here. Yeah, this is like our third cheat. Like, I don't think I would have let him take that back. Like, seriously. You were sitting here thinking for long enough. You decided to activate the Foolish Barrow. You can't just take that back. Like, seriously. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know anything anymore. So, this is, <laughs> this is like, going to be such a long match. Like, seriously. I hope you guys are getting, you know, at least some entertainment out of this. But, I mean, this, I don't know, 40 minute, I, I could I could almost see this being like a 50 minute match. Because this duel's nowhere near ending. I mean, he's at 7,000, he's at 5,000. And, I mean, if Crimson wins this, we're going to go to game 3, so that's just going to make it even longer. And, like, oh, God. So, he's going to tribute for Beast. And the problem is, Crane will ruin your cookies. <laughs> that is a big problem. Now, if that's a debunk set, that'll be... Wow, didn't even have the Crane. Wow. That's that's a first. You know, when, when do Bujins not have the Crane? Only when I don't duel against them. Like, seriously. If this was me dueling, he would have dropped that Crane so fast. It wouldn't even, been, wouldn't even have been funny. So now Super Matt in a pretty good position here. He takes the 1500. Now he'll be able to summon that white dragon or that black dragon. He'll be able to summon one of those dragons, but I don't really think there's a point of doing it yet. But I'm kind of surprised. No Honest or Crane from Crimson. Like, you don't really see that too often from Bujins. So, I mean, at least you have a live carnation now. So, I guess that's good. 
So you better have a game plan to deal with a Booge Incarnation, because I'm pretty sure, like, I could just, I can smell the Booge Incarnation happening next turn. I could just smell it. So he is going to summon the White Dragon. You better have a really good game plan with this, because I think summoning a White Dragon for no reason really isn't that worth it. And again, we haven't seen one shit all fusion from Super Matt <laughs> this entire match. And apparently, like, shit -all, who needs shit all fusion? You can win without it, so. He just summons that for the heck of it. I mean, because you can. There's Regeki. There you go. And again, I don't know if I would agree with that. I mean, you get Black Dragon. But I mean, still. That just gave him more cards from the Regeki. <laughs> It's been a it's been a nice ten years since we've seen this card being used in competitive play. It's been a nice been a nice ten years. So Crimson Blue, he can't. Oh my God, you can't learn your cards, kids. Now I knew you had a card. Like, why wouldn't you Carnation first and then Ragaki? Like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, seriously. There is no reason not to Carnation for- It's not like it's Dark Hole, it's Ragenki, not Dark Hole. Now, if you had Dark Hole, that would have been a completely different story, but still. Oh my god, these guys are just killing me. Like, seriously. Like, that was just the definition of a misplay. Like, Carnation first, and then he can Ragenki. But no. <sighs> I don't even know. I don't even know anything anymore. So, I mean, I did call the Carnation, so I guess that was good. Props for me for calling that Carnation, but still, uh, the misplaying is just so real. And again, this is probably going to be a, an even longer video. I mean, it, hopefully Crimson can get punished for that. Oh, he's just going to end. So hopefully he gets punished for that misplay, and Super Matt can win this shortly, so we can end this video. We're already at 32 minutes. Oh, no. No, so just just MST that and then go for like a shut all fusion. Well, actually, you would run out of resources by then. Yeah. Ha. <sighs> but just 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 find a way to put thirty seven points of damage on, or thirty seven hundred, not thirty seven. Thirty seven would do nothing. So now he's gonna foolish burial, and he'll be able to go for Felice now. So I guess that's pretty good. Uh, and again, he didn't draw the Felice, because, you know, why not? <laughs> and he's going to chain Vanity's Emptiness again. Because it's Vanity's Emptiness. Card of the format that should have got limited, but, of course, Konami didn't want to limit it. And he just ends, so, I mean... From the looks of it, it seems like Crimson's going to gonna win this. Now, if that was a fairy wind set, oh my god, that would have been so nice. The problem is, not a lot of people are playing fairy wind right now. And apparently, blue can't top deck any monsters, so this video is going to be even longer. Even freaking longer. Hope you guys enjoy this. But I mean, it just it just shows how you know some games in Yu-Gi-Oh can be so long, while others just end like that, like literally. It's just hilarious. Like you see, you see worlds. How, you know, the game one of the world's finals was like a half hour duel, and then game two was like two minutes. Like it's just, it's just weird. It's just, it's just one of the one of the aspects of Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess I don't know. So anyway, he summons Yamato. That gets Phoenix changed. It's really annoying me that this guy doesn't have his auto draw on. Like he seriously need to turn that on, man. But anyway, yeah, I feel Crimson. Like, once he starts top decking the monsters, he'll be able to win this. And he could have turtled that fiendish if he. Wow. Well, he. Yeah, he could have turtled the fiendish. It doesn't it kill it? I don't know. Uh, I always forget how that ruling works. I think turtle kills the fiendish. If it doesn't, then I mean, whatever. But still, you could have at least turtled the fiendish. 
to put in, you know, some damage. So Super Matt, I'm gonna set a monster. And end Crimson Blue gonna end his turn, and we're gonna see an invisible full house. Or actually no, not full house. <laughs> he would not be able to use that. But yeah, a fairy wind, a malevolent catastrophe, or just I don't know. I don't even know. I, I don't really see like those are the only legitimate ways I see Super Matt coming back. I mean, if he topics MST, I guess that'll be good too. But I mean, you you really need like a fairy wind or a Malcat, and apparently that is not what is going to happen. So let's see, I mean, all Crimson Blue needs to do is draw monsters, and last time I checked, Boo just played a lot of monsters, but that is apparently, you know, not the case here, and Superman, he just can't draw into anything. I mean, if he, like, he can't, he legitimately cannot do anything to a draws MST. So, I mean, I don't know, he's halfway through the deck, we haven't seen one, well, almost halfway through the deck, haven't seen one MST, so... Hopefully we get to see some some MSTs <laughs> shortly. I mean, just to end this. Now, even if you know Matt top decks an MST, that doesn't mean that he wins. I mean, he'll have a better chance of coming back. But I mean, uh, I don't know. This this duel's giving me a headache. Like I thought that the first duel was long. This one's just giving me a headache. but it will get uploaded. It will. I don't care if this is two hours long. It'll take forever to upload, but it will get uploaded. It will get uploaded. Uh, now what? Okay. I don't mind clicking links. Oh, wow, that hand. Is, is that good? Or I actually think that's pretty good. Yeah, that is a good hand. Wow. <laughs> nice. That's Battery Man for you. He is playing Mar Battery Man Artifacts. You don't have to play Artifacts in Battery Man. Just makes them more expensive. I accidentally pressed the X button. Beautiful. Oh my god. This, this freaking duel, man. This duel is killing me. Like, seriously. This duel is just... Oh my god. Like, there's really nothing else to to legitimately commentate about. It's just, is Crimson Blue going to win this shortly or not? Oh, my God. And then Super Matt is still taking 20 hours on his turns. It takes him so long to set a monster. Like, really? Like, I kind of wish he would just scoop, because this is just annoying. But, I mean, you get to see Bujins on DN Dual Commentary. You haven't seen Bujins in a, in a very long time. So, Super Matt officially halfway through his deck, and you can't get one MST. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't side in MST. It's game two, so you're going to have to deal with those floodgates. And, I mean, it's Bujins too, so... You know, they always play, like, what, triple emptiness. So, he summons Arasuda, he's trying to go for some beatdown. I disagree with attacking with that first, because Crane isn't a beast warrior, and this is at 1700 attack, and that's at 1600. You know, every, every point of damage counts, guys. Every point of damage counts. Remember that. So... Super Matt's turn. I really don't see how he's gonna come back. Like, he should just scoop. Like, please, just scoop. I know you want the screen time on Stu Dog's channel, but just scoop. Like, please. Please do it. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> okay, so he finally decided he wanted to enter his draw phase. Congrats to you. Huh. <sighs> And now we are sitting here. Let's see, is that eight cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards in hand. How about this? If you don't have an MST, scoop. 
It's very, very simple. And apparently, Superman just won't won't take no for an answer here, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> well, he needs to discard if, in the end phase, he has more than six. Oh, finally! Took him that long to MST. I legitimately don't know what you're smoking if it takes you that long to MST. But it better be, better be some of that good stuff. Better be. You might as well. <laughs> Call Konami for the stuff you want to smoke. Like seriously, Konami smokes the best stuff ever. Like seriously, I would I would love to know what Konami smokes because it is really some good stuff. So anyway, he's gonna activate some Sinister Shadow games. Finally get to see this card in action, and then he's gonna wiretap it. And that goes back to the deck. No, it doesn't go to the graveyard. It goes to the deck. Oh, all the cheating. All oh, the cheating. And what is this at 40? Yeah, this is at 40 minutes. <laughs> 41 minutes! Yeah! If you guys sat through this entire thing, you should please comment. Because, oh. If you sat, the first one who com who sits through this whole thing and comments, I'll give you a shout out. How about that? Seems like a good deal, right? How about that? No, no. The first three people. So the first three people to watch the whole video say they commented. Or say they, yes, just comment. And say, give me a shout out. I'll give you a shout out. So the first three people. And do you know how I'll know that you watched all the way to the 41 minute mark? It's because I haven't mentioned this to the 41 minute mark. So, first three people that say that, you can comment. Then I'll make, like, what, a specific shout out video to you guys or something. Something like that. And I'll either do a specific video or I'll mention it all in. Wow, really? Learn to count. Please, man, learn to count. But yeah, I'll do either do a specific video or I'll mention you all in in a future upcoming video. <sighs> but man, this is <laughs> this is just annoying. <laughs> this is just uh, so he's gonna banish two for what a chaos sorcerer? Oh, BLS! Oh dang! So now he's gonna drop dad, and that's probably gonna be game. Please, oh please be game, please, cause I wanna end this video soon. Please just be game, please, 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 please. <laughs> Hey, but game and deck. So he has a normal summon, so just dark arm, kill all these three, and then just attack, because no one's playing Mirror Force. <laughs> That's what I would do. Just, you need to get past the monsters, because Crane's card. And you want to win this turn, so you don't want to waste your banish on one of the Bujins. So, I wish I could view the grave. I think he actually has a turtle in there, so that's kind of unfortunate. But, come on, just hurry up and win this turn, please, Super Matt. I... I believe in you. Just win this turn, please. So he's going to kill the back row. Let's see what it is. Okay, the carnation that he set. The carnation that he totally could have used but decided not to because he misplayed with the Raigeki. And yeah, that Sinister goes back to the deck, but I don't know if it matters that much. Okay, finally decides to put it back to his deck. Good man. Only took him a good old three minutes, and it only took Crimson Blue to remind him twice, so not that bad. Huh, and let's see. So he's gonna kill the Yamato Turtle. Yep, baits out the turtle. Can you can only use the effect of turtle once per turn? No, you can't. Hair's once per turn, turtle's not once per turn. Wow. Learn something new every day. So he has one more bullet left with Dark Armed. Let's see what he's gonna use it on. I mean obviously if he doesn't have a, a Honest or Crane then Super Matt wins <laughs> that easy, but I don't think he he does.
So he has a normal summon, so just normal summon something, attack over it, and then Dark Arm can try to attack over something, and then BLS can just go for the double attack. How about that? Just get this old. Or no, he, does, he doesn't want a normal summon, so please don't have a crane, because I'm going to end this video so fast. Please, please, please. So he's going to... Oh, wow. Can you crane on crane? Let me see. If a beast warrior... Nope, you cannot crane a crane. So is that game? I think that's game. Yep, that is game. So finally. Watch it. Oh, unless he is honest. Oh, please don't have honest. Please don't have honest. Oh my god, if you have honest, I will die. No, 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 don't. You don't even think about dropping the honest right about now. Don't. Please don't do it. No, no, why? 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 <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me here. You guys are killing me. Of course, you have the one card hottest. Like, seriously. So, kill your BLS and take 1600. Or debunk. Please debunk. That'd be so nice. But that's really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. Oh my god, kill your card. And then again, we're taking 20 hours to, to friggin' do this. But anyway, I, I came to the conclusion that after this game ends, I'm ending this video. So if it does go to a game 3, I'm very sorry, but we are not gonna see it. Because <laughs> I, got, I got stuff to do, unfortunately. I know, I wish I could sit here all day and commentate. Because I know, I know you guys want me to, but unfortunately I got some some business to take care of, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, apparently Super Nat doesn't want to take that 1600, and it is only 1600 because Crane is not a Beast Warrior. <laughs> Any second now. So Crimson Blue, he's in a decent... Oh, he's going to flip emptiness. Whenever in doubt, just flip emptiness. And he has the MST, so... Crimson Blue probably going to win this. If he has a Hirome, like, all you have to do is go 101, then Hirome, that's game. So, just do that. Just please do that. Normal Summon, Hirome, 101, good game. Okay, so I called the Hirome. Oh, What? Okay, I did call the Hirome. Like, he still might have a monster in his hand that he can normal summon. Sasano, oh. Is he gonna do Ditch Quillen? Do people still even play Quillen? I don't know. So he can go for Crane now, I guess. That's pretty good. And please just normal summon. No! Come on! It's like they're purposely. You know, making this game last 20 years, and I'm pretty sure that's not game. Yeah, that's not game, so. Oh my god, like, out of all these cards in your hands, you don't have anything normal summon. Like, really? <sighs> like, what the heck is in your hand? Like, I know you, probably one of them is a carnation, but I still don't know what those other three are. Like, more traps? I guess. So, Crimson Blue going to just pass his turn, and this is, oh wow, he's going to set three. That's beautiful. So apparently, they are all traps. Super Matt, you got to have a shit all fusion to come back from this. Like, we haven't seen one shit all fusion in this 50 minute period. F okay, yeah, 50 minute period, we haven't seen one shit all fusion, so just play the shit all fusion. So he's going to lure a darkness, I mean, that could technically get him to it. And let's see which one he's going to banish. Any second now. I know, the decision is so hard. Such a hard decision. One of the hardest decisions in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, he's going to bl banish Black Dragon. Cola. Cola Serpent, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then... Activate Shadow Fusion, he'll flip an emptiness, and then this game will end. I'm calling it right now. 
Let's see if I can call it. Oh, no, he's going to summon Squamata. Oh, now what, Super Poly? Ah, <laughs> called it. Now, if you were smart, you would have set that, because what if he had, like, a Bottomless or Solemn? So, Crimson Blue cannot respond to that Super Poly. I don't know why you didn't set the Squamata, because you don't have to, to summon it. It's just like with Chimera Tech Force Shish Dragon. You can Tribute set your Cyber Dragon, and then fuse in, Fusion Summon for the Chimera Tech Force Shish Dragon, but... I mean, whatever. So please, Cringe and Blue, please don't have anything to stop this attack. Because it would be so nice to end this video. Well, either way, I'm ending this video once this duel ends. But it would be really, really nice to actually, you know, end the video on a positive note and having the mat. No! What? What? Oh, come on. Today is just not my day. I, I swear to God, today... Is just not my day. So when anyway, he's gonna banish for white dragon, but the problem with that is it's not game. And don't you dare try to chain an emptiness. Cause you can't you already tried to do that once. Well you actually already did that once and you were lucky enough to actually let it for your opponent to let it happen. Any second now. Okay, he decided to attack after thinking for a long time. That puts him in cowboy range. Puts Crimson Blue down to 800 points of life points. Or, yeah, 800 life points. And there's Carnation, which we already knew he probably had. And this is probably game. Unless you're randomly playing Honest and Shittles. Because I'm just that pro to play Honest and Shittles. This will be game. And we are not going to see who wins. Actually, this would go to time, so... Apparently, this would end in a draw, probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know who is... Because who, whoever was up on life points after the 40-minute mark, that's who would have won. Well, give them five turns. Like, after the 40-minute mark, give them five turns. So if you really wanted to see who is the legitimate winner of this match, just go to the 40-minute mark, then count five turns, and then whoever had the most life points was the winner of the match. Or if Crimson had more, it was just a draw. So... That's the D and Duel commentary. Again, the first three guys who comment saying they want a shout out for watching the whole video, I'll give you a shout out. And um, thank you guys for watching, as always. And until next week, till next Thursday, this is Stu Dog. Well, next Thursday as in D and Duel commentary, not next Thursday as my next video, if you know what I mean. But anyway, this is Stu Dog, signing out. Thank you guys for watching.